Uh, wow, hey, it is uh, pretty, pretty accurate. The get, I'm starting to figure out this, uh, figuring out how to actually go on live when I want to go on live, which is kind of a breakthrough uh, just by, by just doing it, uh, we figured it out which is uh, really always very exciting to do, to have things happen like that. Uh, I'm, I'm one of, of motion, one of motion uh, of going from the, as, you know, just doing it as opposed to analytically uh, figuring it out uh, without actually hands-on. I'm a hands-on kind of uh, guy. Wow. That's, hey, oh, shit. It shoot. is. Uh, and Pretty, pretty accurate. Let's get rid of the audio. Mm. Here. I'm a hands-on kind of guy. That's uh, really what it gets down to. Uh, welcome everybody back again. Another exciting edition of Let's Paint TV. I'm your host, Mr. Let's Paint. We are coming to you live. This is a live show, unless you're watching it uh, as a rerun tape delay or uh, really any time uh, of the day other than at the very moment that uh, you're watching. Uh, well, what I'm trying to say is if, if it's 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, anywhere from 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, and you're watching this program, more than likely this is live. And you can call. You can call us here and uh, talk to us about whatever you'd like to talk about Uh that would be fine with me, uh, I suspect. Now, we're continuing on uh, just to drag it out uh, or maybe another day or so, uh, and then I'll, I'll probably take a, 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 a small break. we got to get into the fast food paintings, get that, rev that up. So, uh, but uh, I still got a couple more canvases uh, of the records that uh, we have been working on. And uh, today, uh, as you can see here, it is the, not that image, there, uh, classic image of the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Uh, so we're going to give that a shot. I, I don't know if that's going to, you know, we've done it before. We can do it again. As I say a lot of times uh, in terms of the, the selling of your creativity, if you've had any luck with that, then uh, just remember that you will You'll do it again. It uh, so uh, keep keep going. Uh, now, if you never sold anything uh, with your creativity, well, um, keep trying, and uh, you'll you'll eventually get something going. Uh, may, maybe it's far and far and few be in between. I I can't deny that that is. Uh, a viable uh, reality. It, uh, it is ultimately that could be the case. So <laughs> you just have to persevere, as we like to say here on the program. And, and we are doing here with you uh, now, Monday through Friday, 11 to 12 noon, without any any backup. We got no backup here. It's just me pushing uh, a remote control switcher uh, and uh, just uh, hanging out with you ultimately. And uh, I like it. I, I like it. It's kind of casual. It's casual. Uh, um, it, at times, maybe we might have uh, some uh, extra cur curricular, curricular uh, activities uh, lined up, but uh, lately we've been just sort of on a uh, 
kind of a steady ship that uh, is, is taking us, uh, set sail. Um, where? We don't know. That's, that's the beauty. Uh, I mean, we do have something lined up, and that is uh, just painting this record cover. But, but your calls can interject. Your calls can sidetrack me uh, at a given, at, a, at, a given at, at any moment, at any moment, on any given day. Uh, and uh, we like that. We like your calls, your, your comments, and uh, just uh, keep that in mind uh, as you watch this program. This is a interaction. Mano y mano. Ropa dope. Just keep on, keep on punching me. I'll keep on punching you. Just having a little coffee here, guys. Thanks again for being here. We're we're having some fun. Uh, we're, we're about to commence the fun. Uh, we're, we're just sort of a. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to do it all, uh, as much as I try to do it all. Uh, it is hard to, uh, I, you only have two hands. So that is the, the kind of the more strange, and, and uh, just a mouth, uh, and you have two feet, uh, usually. Not not all, not all of us do now. That, that is, uh, you know, some of us are, are uh, don't have ability, uh, the ability to, to uh, or access, uh, limited, uh, which makes it even more harder, it, potentially, potentially. Uh, however, uh, don't let any of these uh, things stop us uh, or you, uh, and and we won't. We surely won't do that here. Uh, but but nevertheless, uh, it's good to have excuses. So uh, to to your excuses in your life, to uh, one's uh, takeoffs and landings, uh, may they be uh, smooth, a, a smooth operator, though. Uh, one one must uh, remember that there will uh, be some bumpy rides uh, in the meantime, uh, or, or almost uh, daily, daily, uh, depending on how you uh, how you uh, play the game. Play the game. Play the game. Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. That is the number. Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. Or you can Skype us. Let's Paint TV. Don't forget to go to letspainttv.com. Uh, we sell all these paintings. Uh, that's how we make a living. We actually sell paintings. We take your donations. If you, if you feel inclined to uh, help out the program, there's a donate button there. Let'spainttv.com. Okay, I'm about finishing my coffee here. And we are uh, we're just kind of getting jazzed up. Jim Jazzbo Collins. Getting all uh, jazzy. Somewhat. Just a little bit. And uh, there, there's our painting that we're going to work on. Uh, record covers, uh, ongoing. Sort of an ongoing series. I've been doing this series. People say, well, what are you doing this for? Uh, just something. You, you just sort of stumble upon something. And, and um, I'm just sort of beefing up my collection. Um, converting, ultimately, my collection to paintings. My record collection. Uh, but I've been doing this. Uh, this is about t going on. This might be about my third year of uh, doing this uh, it's never ending my gosh because I keep going to these thrift stores and picking up records I just picked up about five or six the other day we talked about this uh, and it's uh, I don't think it's gonna get too out of hand um, but uh, it could it really could and that, that could be scary I you know at some point I'll just have to throw the records away and start over again I guess Throw the records away, but not throw the paintings away. I don't think uh, we'll, we'll, we sell them. We sell them. It's a, it's a way to maybe survive. I don't know. It it is or it isn't. It really is dependent on if anyone wants to buy this stuff, which is a uh, kind of it's kind of a strange reality. Actually, it, it's one thing if you have a hot item and there's more multiple people interested in that piece. Then you feel like, hey, okay, that, uh, I feel confident in my ways. I feel confident in, in myself as, a, as an artist or as a painter, you know, because there's more than one. But when there's only just one person that ponies up the money uh, and buys something, it's kind of scary because you go, well, what if that, you know, you go, what if, what if that person wasn't there? Uh, and, then you, and then you start to go, oh, man, 
Well, if that person wasn't there, then I would be back to zero. I would be back to feeling like uh, inadequate, uh, loser, all those uh, prerogatives, uh, adjectives, pejoratives. Is it a pejorative? I'm, I've never been good at uh, correctly uh, adding the correct anno anno annotation, annotation to, uh, to those uh, vocabulary, uh, grammar, announce, uh, pronunciation, uh, structure, sentence structure. 818-528-4516. Uh, it is Let's Paint TV. We're going to get started here just in a second. I'm almost done with the coffee here, and you can talk, tell that I'm talking really fast because I've had enough coffee for... An army. An army. Which army? I don't know. I, I was kind of thinking about an army that made... Uh, I was going to try to give a, give a label or get a little more precise on what army that would be. The French Foreign Legion. Uh, how about that? Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, we we got uh, got that out of out of the hand, uh, out of out of the. Get that out of our. Uh, oh, how shall we say? Uh, out of our system. That's it. Get it out of our system. Get, get, get whatever you got to get out out of your system. Uh, let's hope, let's hope, guys, that uh, we can do just that. We can get over and, and take on uh, whatever's kind of uh, ailing us that our bodies can heal and, and fight, fight off whatever might be kind of trying to give us a bad time, give us a little bit of a, a little fight that we, we, can, we got, the, we got the, the, we got time on our hands and we got the the fortitude, the fight to, uh, to get over uh, and to tackle a one's uh, various uh, ailments or, or uh, mental uh, anguishes. Uh, and how, how do we do that, guys? Through the escape, the escape clause, which is, for us, would be uh, the, creative, the creative gene that we all have. Uh, along with uh, once in a while, a uh, little exercise and uh, some healthy eating. Uh, though uh, I, I tend to, I, I tend to not necessarily uh, do those those last two as as much as I do the the actual just uh, the creative process. Uh, I'm more I'm more interested in that ultimately, I, I guess, or I'm I'm locked in, addicted. Uh, the escape for the escape clause, but boy, don't forget, don't forget the good eats, good eats, guys, good eats and uh, good nutrition, uh, along with the the good healthy uh, exercise, which again, uh, both both of those I, I I tend to pale in comparison to the uh, creativity clause that we have assigned the contract to creativity. Have we signed that, guys? And make sure you. I want you to all sign that. Uh, that you will never, never give up on creativity. I, I like that idea. I, I'm going to have to have you guys sign that. Let me let me write that down just now. But just a second. Where's a pen? Okay, here I got a pen right here. Let me. That's that's important. We we think of these things every once in a while, and uh, always uh, always amazing uh, amazes me. Uh, things that can come about by uh, just uh, going with it. Okay, so anyway. All right, uh, there you go. Uh, maybe we should have our senators uh, and congressmen uh, sign the creativity contract. I think that, that would be kind of fun to do. Uh, could be a good art piece. Did you see this? Uh, it was in the uh, Yahoo. I'm a big fan of. I know I'm gonna get to the painting here, guys, in a sec. I I, I promise you, I, I'm gonna get. I'm just kind of, just uh, one one thing uh, after another, and, uh, or one thought after another. The uh, speaking of, of doing fun things, uh, apparently someone, uh, a guy named Plastic Jesus. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Uh, I have, but.
Okay, we're back. Uh, sorry, uh, we had a technical difficulty here, uh, but uh, we're back. So fantastic. I don't know what happened. That was uh, one of those unexpected realities that uh, do occur here on the program. Uh, not necessarily always uh, knowing what, how, and when that occurs and when it occurs, but it does occur. And, and that's something that we just uh, will have to deal with. Deal with it, my friends. Uh, as uh, we should, uh, we shall overcome uh, whatever whatever problems that, that may exist in our lives. Uh, uh, one way or the other, we, we will overcome all our problems, uh, and it might take us uh, until our last breath. Uh, but we will overcome, uh, and 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 when that happens, we will be free. We will be free of it all. <laughs> I'm talking about I'm sort of talking about dying, aren't I? Uh, not necessarily, uh, but <laughs> it does sort of sound like, or it did, did, uh, did sort of lend, lend myself, uh, lead myself to, uh, to that thought, which is fine. We, 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 we do not deny the fact that uh, the, the simplistic reality uh, of, of the end of, end of life, uh, the final, my final moments could be your, your true epiphany. Of sorts, I do not deny that that could very well be the case. I, I'm not really sure. Uh, I'm not there yet, but uh, I mean, hopefully, I'm not there for for quite a while. But then again, you know, uh, there might be a, there might be a, an appropriate time to, to check out of out of life. I don't know. I I, I mean, okay, well, this is weird. This is just getting out of hand. Wait a second now. <laughs> I was I was thinking about. Uh, uh, the idea of death and, and, and what if you're in a situation where, you know, you're like on life support and, you know, you can't take care of yourself, you can't bathe, blah, blah, blah. That might be a time to check out, right? Where you're in just the worst pain ever. But that's the question. I mean, that is, I guess, you know, okay, we're, okay, this is heavy, man. Heavy. Wait a second. <laughs> And then, and then, if if a government or or an entity or uh, yeah, government, I guess society allows sort of that kind of idea. Okay, I, I'm going to wrap this up and get to painting. I, I'm getting confused and and uh, and uh, fascinated by the thought. Of course, I am talking to myself, aren't I? Eight one eight five two eight four five one six. Feel free to give us a call and uh, relieve me of my uh, salvo. My, my parlay, uh, my playing tennis against the wall, uh, not always the best uh, medicine for, for oneself. So we, we need to interact. And, and I'm, trying, I'm trying to reach out, guys. This is almost like I'm, I'm uh, you know, sending out uh, radio signals into outer space. This is what, this is, this is what it feels like. Uh, and, and there's no response. And you guys are like the aliens uh, out there that that kind of are watching and, and just sort of laughing or, or don't know how to call the number, 818-528-4516. You don't understand uh, English, and so you can't really respond. So in that sense, I do feel like I am uh, talking. Well, I guess we're talking to the universe, frankly. This is, this is being sent out all over the world, isn't it? Uh, possibly. All right. Well, there, there's a the number 818-528-4516 or Skype us, Let's Make TV. Give us a call. We're happy to talk to you. I'd happy to, to, to see that, uh, that, that there is some sort of interaction here. Uh, I got a lot of stuff on the table. Talking about end of, end of life, uh, scenarios, uh, and, uh, and we're going to paint. Let's paint. Okay. Paint a self-portrait of yourself in a hospital bed on life support, says good Jesse. Hey, Jesse's in the house, our resident tech guy, our techie, our audio check mic, check mic one, two, three, man, Jesse, Jesse Ventura. Uh, that's a great idea. However, however, uh, we are uh, fixated. And we're going to stay focused with the eye. Keep your eye on the prize, Jesse. And the eye on the prize here is, though not as exciting for you all as much as uh, seeing myself on life support, self-portrait on life support. 
and about to hit a button to say good good night now hit that one button that says that I, I had the wherewithal to hit the button so I made the decision to say good night now in the hospital bed uh, should do that shouldn't I maybe we'll save that for another day I don't know I, I you know uh, I think I've just spent the whole hour just debating if what I should do which is fun it is fun to do that I must say there is nothing more funner than speculating speculation hypothesizing a lot of talk though no a lot of talk no action that's uh, that's what they call me mr. let's paint and to prove you wrong and to get this show going I'm gonna put my gloves gloves on and get going here we got three people watching the program Jesse's one of them and two other uh, people lots of people enjoying this program today uh, and, and I love I love working uh, I don't care uh, if there's a thousand people or just three people I'm gonna still uh, though actually if there were a thousand people I would feel a little more more inclined to be more performance minded I suppose but you know that's that's it's always a battle uh, and, and, and sometimes when you have a, a lot of people, uh, a lot of pressure, you know, and, and right now uh, there is no pressure, which is kind of nice, uh, you know, and, and, but, but, but it, should there be a difference? I don't know if there should be or could be. Uh, in some ways, there is not a difference. But I ultimately, I guess, knowing that there's just a couple of you watching this program live, it's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. I, and, and I don't know if I, you know, it makes me want to not maybe, four people now, it makes me want to not necessarily uh, continue on. Uh, apparently, uh, no one cares, you know, and so is, no one cares about what I'm doing, you know, no one cares that I'm even being doing this every show, every day, Monday through Friday, 11, 12, 30. Okay. okay, let's go to the pain in here. Enough, enough sad sacking uh, with you all. But we did discuss a lot of fun stuff and we, we're kind of gain. uh, sort of our libations uh, of mental mental libations going uh, through through dialogue through discussion uh, and uh, we are uh, happy to provide that with you here uh, it's called food for thought food for thought uh, th thought food <laughs> thought food no uh, whatever okay maybe maybe not okay let's uh, get our gloves on and uh, let's let's talk about painting here guys Shall we? All right. Uh, get a, get some uh, juice going on here. Uh, we, we did a couple of paintings yesterday. That was good. Uh, I'm glad. Uh, again, being trying to be productive here these last couple of weeks. Uh, uh, gonna have to load up with some paint here. Let's get some more paint here. Uh, I got uh, uh, just a tad bit more alizarin crimson here. There we go. Boom. And uh, we need some. Ultramarine blue. You probably heard me say that a million times, and uh, just deal with it. Uh, I, I, there's a part of me that gets tired of talking about it, and uh, I suppose maybe I should. A little green, phthalo green. There we go. Hang in there, guys. We're gonna get some paint on that canvas. You don't, uh, don't uh, change that dial. If you came in here to see me paint. Um, I will be giving you the fireworks just uh, in any moment. Any moment now, we're going to get some paint on that canvas. This is an old canvas here, guys, by the way. Uh, as you can see, uh, a failed failed canvas. Uh, not, not, I don't kind of rather not have to, you know, rework an old canvas, but, you know, it happens. Uh, things, things don't uh, materialize. Okay, so. Here we got, got some paint going on. Now that's not really the color I want. Uh, it's really overall a black kind of painting. Let me clean my brush. That, that's what I need to do. And I need to put some paint thinner in the brush cleaning uh, mechanism. Of course, you guys can't see this, uh, but uh, believe me, I'm, I'm gonna be doing that right now. Putting some paint down here. Uh, one way to look at this program is, uh, think of it as a radio program. That way, uh, you don't have to worry about so much the the visuals because uh, they are aren't uh, always available. 
uh, because uh, just not happening. Not not happening today. Let's put it that way. But we will uh, maybe one day. One, maybe one day we'll have better uh, a better situation. But uh, at the, as a mo- for the moment, it is it is just uh, me, just uh, just little old me here. Uh, feel free to call us though. Uh, we will uh, be happy to talk to you. Uh, field field your uh, questions, your salvos uh, about uh, creative process. Uh, if you want to sign the creativity uh, contract. Uh, please feel free to do so. Um, uh, Miles, Miles here. John, uh, your phone comes up busy when I dial it since the beginning of the show. That is why you have, aren't receiving any calls, maybe. Okay, Miles, what's the problem here? Let me see. Let me double check what's going on here. Why would that be the case? Let me do a Skype, Skype, uh, Skype something, uh, the uh, test call. Ah, shoot. How do I get to it? I need to get to Skype test call without typing. And uh, can I do that without having to go over to the menu and type it in? Where are, where are thou? Where are thou? Skype test call. Should be a better way to do that. But uh, I, I don't have that ability at the moment. Why, why would that be? Why would that not be the case? Why? Why? Why not? Why can't I find that? Uh, Skype test call. Kind of a kind of stuck here because we're not able to find something. Kind of throwing us. You're throwing me off my game here, uh, which is I guess fine. Skype test call. Here we go. Let's do Skype. Oh, I had it. Come on, baby. Now you acting up on me? Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. Bump bump. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna call Skype test call. Let's see what's going on here. Well, it says it works. Hello, welcome to Skype call Dude, testing uh, service. After the beep, please record a message. Afterwards, your message will be played back to you. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Let's Paint TV. Uh, I'm uh, calling in to let you know uh, that your program sucks. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Let's Paint TV. Uh, I'm uh, calling in to let you know uh, that your okay. Apparently, it works, Miles. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, try calling someone else. Call. Maybe it's just you, Miles. Uh, that uh, a lot of times that is the case. A lot of times it is it is your problem. Uh, but uh, but we just need that. We need a couple other people to verify because I just did a test and it seemed to it seemed to have worked. All right, uh, let's uh, get back uh, to the painting process here. And we're painting the uh, Sgt. Pepper's uh, Lonely Hearts Club Land. I've done this a few times already. Uh, and uh, it's always kind of fun to do, I guess, uh, or not. I don't know. You know, a lot of times, you know, the question is about painting. Oh, there's two. Uh, I probably don't need to go so black up there. Uh, and I'm just putting in black wherever I see the black, which is overall, it is black everywhere, frankly. So... I'm just going to power in, power 106, a lot of black over the whole whole area here. Okay, guys? And, and probably should wipe away that top part because that's not really black. That is more of a blue. So let's uh, wipe some of that black that I had up there. Wipe that away. Bring it down there. Boom. Okay. Get another paper towel. All right, and boom, 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 boom. I'll come back in. Uh, uh, there we go. So just kind of get that going there like that. There we go. Uh, and this is a this is a, a very detailed, uh, busy, busy. But we're gonna we're gonna break it down. We're gonna break down it so that you can uh, tackle the, the the scenarios, the possibilities. Uh, by uh, inch by inch, inch by inch. Okay, so a boom, boom, boom. Overall, uh, that's a good start for the painting, I, I suspect. Okay, that's a brush I don't like, but I'll go ahead and try to clean it up, and maybe we can get it to bring it back to its original, uh, original uh, position in life, this brush, uh, though it, it is not uh, quite happy at the moment. And uh, 
Uh, I might have misdialed from my com computer. Wait, that would be, I suppose, wait, that would be impossible, right? Uh, it would be impossible. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, you should be able to call me. That's, uh, that would be my thought here. Um, I could uh, do a test. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do a test here. Let me do this. Just a second. I'm going to get my home phone and call our the, the 818 number. Just a second. Okay, let's do it. I'll do a test here. Yeah, see, it's 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 dialing, uh, Miles. Hello. Yes, uh, you're on Let's Paint TV. Yeah. I have a question about if uh, I could put acrylic paint on my oil painting at the same time. Is there going to be a problem? Well, no, 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 not at all. And that, let, if you put the acrylic down first and let it dry, or or not worry about it drying, but generally speaking, you can do whatever you want. But if it's a, 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 a dried oil painting and then you put acrylic paint on top of the dried oil paint, it will not stick. The acrylic will not stick. Oh, okay, I see. So if I put the painting, the acrylic paint down first, then uh, I can probably not worry about it so much. But if I put the oil painting down first, and then try to put acrylic on top of the dried oil painting, then I'm going to have a problem. That is right. That is correct. So what you want to make sure you do is if you are going to use those two kind of paint mediums, both acrylic and and uh, oil, uh, acrylic and oil, then you would want to have that be aware, be aware of those scenarios uh, because basically the acrylic will not stick to dried oil paint. It just does not happen. Okay, okay, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. I, 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 I like your show. show. Okay, okay. okay. I'm going to keep watching. watching. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, well, uh, apparently, Miles, the phone does work uh, because uh, got it to work. Uh, you know what? You know what it is, Miles? You might need to uh, close your Skype. Just turn off the Skype and then start over again. That, that's what you might need to do. Just turn it off and turn it back on. Maybe you need to get the latest version of Skype. I don't know, but it's working for me. D did you like that, uh, Jesse? Okay, fantastic. All right, uh, we didn't know that would happen, but we got it to work. Let's get back to our painting here, guys. As promised here on the program, Let's Pay TV having a great time here with you. Okay. Okay, overall, uh, just kind of beginning with the painting, which is, you gotta start somewhere, guys. And if you start off the wrong way, if you start off with the wrong on the wrong side of the bed, that's not a problem. Not a problem in, in, in painting land, you know? Uh, have, you can have a bad scenario, a bad setup, a bad, a bad life. Uh, uh, you could be uh, just, just a terrible uh, life uh, given to you, uh, presented to you, uh, through through so many parameters, but that doesn't have to stop you from making a painting. In fact, sometimes, in many cases, those say, if you will, uh, effed up realities that uh, have been permeated, uh, forced upon you in many cases, uh, or forced upon you, or, or your own uh, or your own doings. Uh, the the escape again of of the creative process. Uh, is what we're doing here uh, is 
really your best, one of your best choices available. Uh, the escape clause, and that would be, again, uh, in our case, uh, here, what we're doing, painting, painting. Okay, so uh, I noticed, uh, I did a little a race, a racing with, with the, uh, okay, Miles says, I don't have Skype installed. I called on my cell. This is absurd, absurd. Uh, yeah, that is weird. That That is weird. That, that, I don't know. I, I don't know, Miles. I can't help you. I called from a regular phone just now. You saw what I just did. I called from my landline, and I called the 818-528-4516, and uh, we, we, had a, uh, we had a discussion. Uh, clearly, uh, it works. So I, I don't know what to say, Miles, except for maybe... You might want to call your local cable access provider. No, uh, your local uh, cell phone provider and, and give them a hard time and ask them what the hell's going on. Okay, so now we put in the blacks, guys. We put in the blacks, right? We put in blacks. Uh, and now let's put in whites. Let's put in whites wherever we see white. Wherever you see white, let's put white. Simple as that, guys. Painting is that simple. Painting can be that simple. It doesn't have to be uh impossible doesn't have to be impossible your life doesn't have to be impossible it can be simply simple green this program is provided to you by simple green if you got to clean up a mess simple green is the product still busy though says miles i can't i can't help you man i don't know what the deal is uh doesn't make sense uh that's what i'm trying to say it does not make any sense. I just told you I called my damn number. Uh, <laughs> okay, Miles, I'm gonna get mad at you now. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. <laughs> you're pulling my leg now. You're just pulling my leg. All right, whatever. I, I hang in there, Miles. I don't know what to say. Uh, and maybe it is something on my end. I, I just can't uh, fathom at the moment. Uh, I cannot uh, figure it out. A ascertain. Ask for gum. Okay, put the white wherever you got it, guys. All right, look at that. It's just a little circle again. We painted a circle yesterday. Remember that? Wasn't that fun? That was fun. The uh, the Spain uh, painting. Okay, don't uh, spend all day, guys, on getting this uh, little circle right. Just uh, move on. Though I am uh, probably spending a little more longer time than I need to. Okay, now uh, there's another little guy. There's a little head off to the side here so let's put the head in there like a statue of somebody i don't know it's probably someone someone important someone well known like a lord lord uh, badminton uh, some some lord some uh king uh some 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 english uh fancy pants of sorts i'm gonna put it in the border here too since i see it uh border on the top and the right and the left and the uh, so we just kind of keep, keep, uh, putting it over, uh, and it's not really, uh, not gelling. Uh, it's not, uh, correctly applied the right amount of color, uh, nonsense. Just pretend. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, pretending is good. Uh, uh, so, so there you go. So uh, th that's a, that's a great call. Uh, Miles on the phone here, uh, talking to us. And uh, what would you like to talk to us about, Miles? Okay, you can't hear Miles, but uh, but Miles is asking, what type of brushes do you use? Uh, uh, for for painting, what are your favorite types of brushes? Well, that's a great question, Miles. What we use are China bristle brushes. China bristle brushes. Probably the best thing ever to come out of China are these China bristle brushes. They are cheap, uh, and I buy them uh, all the time because they are cheap. Because uh, I I am cheap. You got to be cheap sometimes. Uh, as if you're going to be an artist, you got to learn how to. Uh, Roll with the punches, and uh, and uh, we do that definitely do that here uh, on the program. Okay, so here's the little white border. I'll go, come back to that. We'll come back to that, or we might just leave it as is. And uh, that's the beauty uh, of of 
telling yourself that you can come back is, is half the time that coming back is not even necessary. Uh, and so uh, keep that in mind uh, that uh, there is that element. Okay, there's a lot of heads there. I'm going to put it in the blue in the background. Let's do that. I'm going to put some phthalo blue. It's, it's kind of a, a cool a cool blue. The ultramarine blue is more of a warm blue, I guess they, they call it. I, it took me years to figure that out. Uh. Excuse me. But I know now. And uh, there's a lot to be said about learning stuff uh, as you go along. Uh, so that uh, the, 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 what, what would be said about that is, is the discovery. Uh, to learn, to learn, and not, and in my case, I didn't necessarily actively want to learn this or any of that stuff. I, I have a, probably a disposition to, to actually learning anything at all from anybody. I, I have a instant, uh, not want to, you know, when, when someone tries to tell me something, I instantly go, no, I didn't want to want to listen to you, uh, and because I suspect you are full of crap. And I do that with everybody. Everybody in my life, I do that. And it's just, just me. You know, it's my problem, my, my idiosyncrasies. And it's probably based on, on a lot of truth uh, on, on many levels, uh, uh, I believe. Um, but uh, a lot of times I am, you know, missing. I'm missing the boat. I'm missing a lot of uh, possible knowledge. But in my case, I find I benefit by, by my own discoveries. And, and I think a lot of us are that way in many respects. So if it takes you a while to learn, uh, learn something as simple as the fact that a cool, warm blue uh, is uh, uh, different from a, from a well, <laughs> I just said a cool, warm blue, but a, a, a cool blue or a cool color versus a warm color. If it takes you 20 years, uh, which is probably close to, to, the, to the amount of time it took me to learn, that uh, learn that, uh, so be it. Uh, it didn't. It didn't. I didn't stop painting, you know, because I didn't know that, you know. All right. So there's the head. See, I got a. I got to lower something here. It's not right. Okay, let's bring him down. I'm putting now the blue wherever I see the blue. Uh, Laura. Laura says she uh, would love to uh, maybe buy this painting. Uh, yes, of course, I am going to sell this. So we'll post this up once I finish it. Hopefully, I'll finish it later on today. Uh, and we will post this up on our Etsy uh, page. All right, so I screwed that up a little bit. Let's lower lower the boom, uh, lower the, the circle. Uh, literally, lower the boom, uh, or it's the... Uh, it's the, uh, whatever, the thing you, you bang on, the drum. We lowered the drum, <laughs> which is kind of makes a booming sound, which is kind of interesting in, in itself. One, in an, in and in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, in it, in itself. In it, I can't say that, but I know there's a way to say that. In and in it of itself. Uh, I'm on to something, and I'm not sure where or how. All right, uh, quarter to the hour here on the program at Let's Pay TV. Give us a call, 818-528-4516, or Skype us, Let's Pay TV. I, apparently, Miles uh, is getting a busy signal. Uh, I really can't uh, help you out, Miles, but maybe someone else, if they want to call in uh, and, and call and talk to us about uh, the joys of painting then uh, or, or questions, uh, we will try to uh fend off uh, all those uh, problems uh, or, or uh, field, field of dreams, field your uh, prognosis, whatever it is. Okay, so again, we're just kind of, we're kind of feeling our, feeling this out here, if you will, feeling what, uh, what is right and right, what is wrong. And, and like I said, this is complex, uh, at least complicated, potentially, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be complicated if you, if you, if you go about it our our way here uh, at the Let's Paint TV way, and that is uh, keep it simple, keep it simple, and 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 uh, just put in like in my case, put in the whites where we see the whites. Okay, now we we're not going to get every darn head back there like Marlon Brando just now, and so and so, and this person and that person. Uh, they're all there. It looks like uh, everybody that uh, seems to be important. 
uh, during that uh, time of, of, of when this was made. Uh, I don't see Michael Jackson in there. He would have been in there. You know, if they updated this, this cover, they would probably have a bunch of other uh, figures, and, and I think Michael Jackson would be there. Someone was asking me to paint a Michael Jackson record cover. I haven't found one to do. Uh, I could obviously uh, find one on the internet, which uh, which I probably and, and, you know should or will uh, could could shoulda coulda woulda shoulda. Uh, anyway, so we're just gonna arbitrarily, guys, arbitrarily put heads up here back and forth. Uh, they're not necessarily right. Uh, in fact, they aren't. There's Bob Dylan uh, off to the top right. There, there he is. I see him. I, can, I recognize him. Uh, I don't know them all. Uh, frankly, uh, and and one doesn't need to necessarily know who they all are, uh, but we learn as we go, and uh, certain things get pointed out. Uh, looks like Marilyn Monroe's over here. I see. Okay, uh, let's put her in. She's got a little white uh, white dress, and uh, who's that? The 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 other lady next to Marilyn Monroe, which I'm assuming that's Marilyn Monroe. Maybe that would, today that would be uh, Kim Kardashian, you know? Maybe that's who that would be there. Uh, that would be kind of fun, actually, to kind of do a modern-day version of, of the various, uh, you know, uh, as, as mentioned, uh, with, you know, various uh, celebrities uh, and, uh, you know, Beyonce, get some Beyonce. You know, it's like, yeah, there's, there's hardly, uh, you know what? There, I don't see a black, is there a black person in this? <laughs> yeah, I don't see one black person in here. All right. 818 528 we'll we'll change that when we get when we when we make our version 818 528 4516 you're watching let's paint tv every day seen every day here on the on uh, letspainttv.com uh, and uh, at the moment we're on youtube live which uh, apparently gets no one no one watches uh, youtube live <laughs> apparently not <laughs> we got seven people watching uh, but we do provide high quality tv each and every day, though uh, some days uh, not not as much, but uh, today we are we are we are we are top notch, top notch. We are on all cylinders here. All our minds and thoughts are uh, with you and and your creative process. Will you sign the creativity pledge? Will you sign it? All right, eight one eight five two eight four five one six. Okay, back to the painting here uh, on the program. Thanks again. We are uh, just kind of uh, gingerly, gingerly, uh, slowly, uh, carefully, I don't know, or not so carefully, we're, we're uh, arbitrarily, whatever word you want to put in there, we are uh, 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 making a, a futile, futile, <laughs> futile attempts uh, at uh, trying to get this to work. Okay, let's spell out beetles here. I usually do the lettering at the very end, but in this case, for some reason, I think it's probably appropriate to get the lettering in now, since it, I don't know why. It's, uh, they're actually little flowers. Why? Why did I make this? You know, we, we arbitrarily make decisions. Uh, I, I like that idea. Now, we don't have to, one does not have to be that way. Uh, a lot, most of us are not. Well, most of us have our, our ramrod rigid in our lifestyles and our approach to the creative process. And hey, that's fine too. If that floats your boat and you're happy with it, who, 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 you know, that's, you know, fine. My beef, my beef though is, is that we give up uh, too soon because uh, we, we, we see the failure and the failure, uh, is is ugly uh, you know it, it rears its ugly head and 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 you don't have this masterpiece and we give up and uh, that's that's the sad fact of of life uh with so many things and and hopefully uh we can prove prove to you and show to you that you can through excitement and inspiration can uh supersede supersede these uh problems these problems that uh, that constantly show up now uh, I kind of screwed this up. The beetles should be moved over a little further over. So let's uh, let's see if I, I'm just going to knock that out. I'm I'm getting a little uh, particular, particular, which is fine. We we, we can get particular here. Uh, this is this is sort of asks for it a little bit, a little more uh, nuance because of the uh, complexity. 
things get complex. Life is complex sometimes. can be. Okay, so I'm just going to knock that out. And while I'm doing that, let me skip, skip, forget about that for a second and, and come back over here and put in my darks where I really see the darks uh, more prominent. And again, uh, but this kind of approach to painting, guys, uh, lends itself to, to a lot of discovery uh, and, and reapproach uh, flight patterns uh, in and out uh, because uh, we discover. We discover new things uh, because we are adding all these different colors and shapes and things start to show up. And uh, therefore, we are able to clarify uh, a little better as, as we go along. But uh, I, I think a lot of times people, uh, when they approach painting, they, wanna, they want it right, right from the get-go. They want, they want the stuff to look right just now and then, uh, just, just at the very moment that they put the brush down on the canvas. And that's just not, that's just not really possible, though uh, there, there could be a way of doing that. There could be a, you know, sort of a, a more perfected, crafted way, uh, mechanical, if you will, to to a, to achieving that, uh, but we're not interested in that. I'm not interested in being a machine. I'm not. I'm a human being, guys, uh, and and I think we all are. Uh, though, though though I might be an alien. I don't know. Uh, it's entirely possible, or we might all be aliens. Who knows? I mean, what isn't what isn't a, a human being anyway? Okay, these are deep questions here that we are uh, trying to. You know, that could be a black person on the left, uh, that barely in the in the picture there. Maybe that is a black person. Looks like a black person. Okay, I'll take that back. There is one black person in the uh, in the picture there, and maybe oh, I see Nixon. Is that Nixon's eyebrows? And there's Marilyn Monroe again. Is that two Marilyn Monroe Monroes? Are there two Marilyn? Okay, Charlie Chaplin. Okay, and then uh, Laurel and Hardy, uh, and of course uh, I don't know. I don't know who all, most of these people are. Okay, fantastic, and and. Though we probably shouldn't, we you know uh, learn as we go, learn as we go, and and so the fact that we don't know who half these people are, is is a good thing. Do you really need to know? Do you really need to know who everyone is? Okay, uh, there's some heads, more heads, heads are turning. Anyway, we're getting the gist of this, uh, and I'm I'm getting uh, more and more connected, connected to uh, what what we have in front of us, which is a, uh, a painting. Uh, at some point, it will become uh, considered a painting, maybe, maybe not. That's the the top of the drum, or the side of the drum. Kind of moved over to the small brush now. And I've been using that little brush for a lot, a lot of the time now, and it's starting to lose its luster. It's, uh, the bristles are starting to fall apart, which is not, not the best for uh, painting uh, always. Uh, and, and definitely, I could use a smaller, even a smaller brush to really get closer to what I want. But uh, I don't know if that's going to happen today. So we're going to have to, you know, again. And, and that's, a, that's kind of a battle. Uh, and, and, and you think of a battle, you know, uh, war, hell, destruction, uh, frustration. But uh, think of painting as a battle. But, but, but don't... don't uh, you know, think of it uh, as a good battle, you know, uh, like World War II, you know, uh, the good war, as, uh, as they like to say. All right, 818-528-4516. Uh, we are coming to the top of the hour. I'm just going to keep on painting here uh, because there is uh, more, more painting to do. It's, uh, it's a complex uh, reality that uh, I have uh, entered with this, uh, this painting. So uh, at some point I might just shut up and just paint, which might be best for uh, for everyone. Well, 
Where's that shot? Is that the shot? I believe so. Okay. There. I'll zoom out a little bit. Zoom in or zoom out? I don't know. Put Barack Obama in there and I'll buy it, sir. Uh, Barack Obama, let's put him in there, sure. <laughs> uh, we, like, we, we like to see the uh, dollar signs, you know, nothing like seeing dollar signs to, to do things. Uh, and uh, if Barack Obama needs to get in there, we will, we will get him in there. There's plenty of room for him, that's for sure. Okay, let's put his, the faces in here. I'm going to put some... Uh, various faces this is the the Beatles the Beatles are repeated uh, more than once uh, in their suits and then then they're in their you know there's probably books written about this uh, record cover I bet right I mean these people written uh, article I know there's been articles but like essays and uh, hey essay essay let's get a trombone in here I see a trombone hiding in the background there little hint of a trombone. And again, this is, there's a lot of stuff here. You're not going to get it all. I don't, or you don't need to get it all is what I would say. But you want to have the suggestion of it all. You want to suggest that there's a lot of stuff going on and uh, you want to, you know, uh, be close to, uh, to the proximity uh, of what, what it's all about. I'm going to have to put in those guys. I, I haven't even done the Beatles lettering. Let me do that. Come in here with some Beatles lettering here. Uh, and I'll put the T more in the middle. That was probably my mistake. And I got to make room for the stuff on the bottom. There's other stuff on the bottom. So doesn't have to be perfect. As we mentioned before, are you perfect? Is your life perfect? Why should your paintings be perfect? That's 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 my whole point. That's my whole point. 818-528-4516. Uh, we are really uh, kind of towards the end of the program. I'm going to just, you know, obviously s stay with this uh, to, uh, to try to finish. Uh, and hopefully I, I should uh, finish it, but I might need to just shut up. Shut up and paint. More painting, less talking, less paint TV. <laughs> more, more talk, less paint. No. All right. There's our S. Well, guys, uh, this is sort of the official end of the program here at 12 noon. We are, uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we're going to go overtime, as mentioned. But uh, otherwise, if you have other great programs to check out, go do so. Uh, we're just going to continue to paint if you're interested in that. Uh, I will probably sh not talk as much. But we'll see you otherwise tomorrow. If, if, you, if you need to check out, you have a, a dentist appointment or something, we'll be here again tomorrow, 11 to 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Stick around uh, for extra, extra Let's Paint TV. Extra, extra. Just keep on painting, guys. Keep on painting and uh, just keep going. Keep going. I'm going to have a little water. I haven't had any water all day. Had my coffee. I didn't have any water.
Hello, you're on Let's Paint TV. and you Wombo Combo. Trap. Note to self, don't bother taking that call anymore. Waste of time. Oh. Okay, uh, Beatles. I believe that's a guitar made out of flowers. That's what I think it is. Could be wrong. Some purple. I'm going to get some fresh purple here. Let me get some purple. Oh, I need some more yellow too. Get some more yellow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want now? What do we what do we need? What do we want? Okay, I know. Let's lower this white line. All right, we'll f come back to that. Okay, we'll fit in Obama in there somewhere. Uh, let's go ahead and put some other other stuff going on here. It's actually black.
purple. Some purple going on here. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. Do, 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 I'm Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. Bum, bum. I hope you enjoy the show. Do, 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 do. I might have to move the circle over to the right a little bit. It looks like I got it a little too much. That's all right. We'll fix it. We can fix it. We can fix it. Is blocking in basically kind of that's what we're still doing blocking in somehow my proportions everything is kind of whack wonky but uh, we're gonna make it work I'm gonna move the uh, I think I got to move the the drum off to the middle more more to the right so uh, simply Simply, we're just going to power in some white over there. Move it maybe a 
I don't know, quarter inch at the most. Kind of ask for it. You ask it at you ask you ask for it. Or just make the, 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 the drum bigger. Maybe that's all I need to do. But move it to the right. And uh, maybe leave it as such. Huh. Okay, let's, I need another brush. Where's another mid, mid-sized brush? That's what we need. That's what we need, my friends. Oh, that brush is falling apart. Let's clean it. Well, I think Nixon's in this painting, isn't he? I believe he is, but I could be wrong. I get a feeling that's his eyebrows hiding behind uh, Ringo. Or is that Ringo? I, I don't know, even know. I don't even know who these guys, the. I don't know who's who, frankly. You know, who's Paul and who's Ringo and. That uh, close-up shot I found is not terribly good, is it? It's uh, fuzzy. Well, I don't have a mid-sized brush that I feel comfortable with because they're all beat up. This one's better. Let me see. Maybe this one's the one to use. Oh, this one. Now, you're, you're almost close to dead with that brush. And this one, what happened to this one? Oh, this one's a good one. That's the one I just dropped. Okay. That is my little one. Let me see. Yeah, you, you'll be okay. Nah. Kind of smashed up bristles. Alright. Not so good. Not so good. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to stay with this little brush, which is kind of lame uh, for what I want to try to do. Some of the, but for the most part, this is going to be okay. I, back and forth with it. Kind of don't like the idea of using this little brush, but you know, it's going to be okay. Work with what she got. I need to clean my brushes like thoroughly. I got to do that. Boil them in the uh, vinegar move. That that surprisingly is pretty good. Yeah, I haven't tried that one. All right, come on now, let's get it going here. Okay, little uh, magenta. I got. I need to get a, like a magenta. I know. What if I mix the phthalo blue with the phthalo with the alizarin crimson and a little bit of white? Would I get a nice magenta? Possibly. I sh I should in theory, but uh, a lot of times theories don't pan out. Always. I was gonna go more magenta or more alizarin crimson. Alizarin crimson with the white combo. It's it's not right. Maybe a little more red onto that. See, I like to put the colors right onto the to the canvas. I don't know if you notice that. And I don't spend. I don't try not. I try not to spend all day mixing uh, on the palette. And then just me. Uh, and, and I say all day, and it does seem to be all day when, when people do get involved in the uh, that aspect of mixing. All right, 
Let's put some faces. Let's work the faces here. Of course, you're not really seeing it because my elbow's in the way. I'm sorry. Just deal with it for now. Now, the beauty, the beauty about something like this that is pretty complex. Uh, complicated or, or a lot of stuff going on uh, when you incorporate the simplistic factor of sorts uh, of, of the the idea the concept of the suggestion I like that idea the term terminology used to use a, using suggestion uh, you can get by with a little bit uh, with your friends, you get get by with the love of your friends. What? How's that song go? Could it be anybody? I just need someone to love. Could it be anybody? I just need someone. Get by with a little help from your friends. Is that the same song, or am I putting combining two songs? Give me a call eight one eight five two. Oh, I'm not. I'm not on anymore. I mean, I am. But uh, I'm really trying to focus on the painting. So, but if you want to call, you can. I'll take your call. Yeah, it'd be interesting. Uh, I'm sure someone has analyzed uh, who all these people are in the background. I, I definitely do not know them all or hardly, but maybe maybe 10% of them or so, I don't know. I know a few though, maybe, maybe more like 20% of them. This is, uh, well, we're, we're hunkering down here is, is sort of the, the idea. I'm going to work on some leaves here and kind of take a break from the, uh, from what we were doing. Put the leaf action. There's some leaves, some palms in the back there. It's not right. Lots of mistakes, guys. But don't let that stop you. It's not stopping me. Don't let it stop you. The imperfections. Just go with it. Go with the problems. Uh, in a sense, you're problem solving. I think that's Betty Davis next to Marilyn Monroe. And I, 
I'm thinking that's Marilyn Monroe, but then I see her in a black and white behind them. Is she in there twice? Like the Beatles are in twice. Of course, it's their record. Here's the, uh, what's his name? Laurel and Hardy guy. Let me get him in there. It's pretty classic. As you can see, we could spend all day doing this. Back and forth, back and forth. Get their mustaches and stuff. Well, I guess that's John Lennon with the glasses. It's because he's the one with the glasses. So that's he's on the left. Maybe that's Paul in the middle. I, I don't know. They all got the mustaches, though. You know, uh, yo, yo, ho, ho, ho. You know, uh, John Lennon, uh, you know how he was really popular and uh, sort of his brooding aspect to him, to his uh, image. At least that's how I looked upon him as sort of the, he was the essence of, of being very cool. Uh, that's my sort of uh, thought about him. And then, and then so... I remember in high school and even to this day, I run across people that sort of emulate sort of the John Lennon, I am kind of uh, oozing of the, uh, uh, the, the idea, the ideology that I am super smart, I am super cool, I am uh, awesome. And uh, you see a lot of people sort of emulating, sort of have that John Lennon quality to them. Um, uh, I'll just leave it at that <laughs> before I get into any more, <laughs> get, get, dig myself any more of a hole. But I, have you noticed that there, there'll be people like that, that sort of, I don't know if they know, uh, that they are really, uh, necessarily, you know, after all these years, really aware that they're, they're sort of doing a John Lennon, uh, being, uh, smarter than you mentality. But uh, I've always uh, noticed that with uh, a lot of people out there. How's that? My, how does my arm look? Huh? It looks pretty, pretty sweet, huh? <laughs> you like my arm? <laughs> I should put a tattoo there. Let's paint TV tattoo since you see that all the time. There's his hat. I guess you gathered that I wasn't really ever uh, good friends with any of those people that uh, had sort of the John Lennon uh, attitude. Uh, but I, I wasn't, I, I'm not really ever, I don't, I don't, I'm not at war with them or nothing. I get along. I, get, I try to get along with everyone, you know. Try to. But uh, sometimes you pick up that people are uh, uh, giving off that attitude. Is that they, they are, uh, I don't know, smarter than you. Uh, and uh, that kind of stuff. I, that always does kind of rub me the wrong way, that whole... I am smarter than anyone in the world kind of thing and everyone and I've, I've never liked that I guess. I think it's because I, I'm aware that, that there's su such a, uh, there's a, you know, how, how kind of wrong everyone is when they play that route 
they go that route, they ultimately are wrong. Wrong! <laughs> oh, well. That's... He, he, this guy over here, uh, the guy on the far left here, uh, Beetle, looks like he's got a big afro at the moment. I might keep it there. There's a Bar Brando. I see Brando. I don't know who the guy with the hat is. I'll put a hat in there. Uh, we're not going to get it all, uh, all the heads in there uh, correctly or right. And uh, we could if we kept going at it. I'm, I, at some point, I'm just going to say I'm done, which is plenty good for me. I, but I'm going to get some more images in here. We could get the Obama as a request. Special request. Where should we put him? You know, I'm looking at the picture of Bob Dylan here, and uh, he, uh, we all kind of know how he looks it's to some degree. And I've talked about this a lot of times. Artists, generally, you don't know what an artist looks like. They're not, they don't really fit. I mean, they're not in pop culture. You know, you know who, you know, musicians are. You know what they look like. But generally, you don't know what an artist looks like. Uh, but uh, I, th and, and, and talking about uh, John Lennon and people with the John Lennon complex, uh, I'm just noticing a picture here of Bob Dylan. He kind of looks like uh, Shepard Fairley, who is uh, kind of a well-known artist, uh, but you, you don't know what he really looks like. I mean, I always say that, or have said that, cause, but I, I happen to do know what he looks like just from a couple of pictures, but he's, he's not really, uh, again, these artists, uh, most artists, you, uh, do you know what, who Matisse, what Matisse looks like? I mean, I guess we know what Picasso looked like. Uh, Trace being a, Trace being around in his uh, in his underwear, uh, uh, drinking coffee and stuff. Uh, I guess we know how he looks, but uh, generally speaking, we don't know uh, most most artists uh, how they look. Just my two cents here. Do do do. Let's work on the hair again. Give some eyeballs. People have eyes. I gotta put the the, the okay and 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 again the this is uh, intricate. Sometimes you, you know just hopefully you can get a, a little brush stroke. Put some eyeballs in there, you know, here and there. Uh, This is where you could kind of benefit from a smaller, more detailed brush, but we'll work with this.
Leave the Afro. Okay, I will. That could be Obama. That could be Obama uh, as uh, in the uh, from his days in in high school, smoking weed. Well, we're getting close. I'm going to put Obama in there and a couple of little eyeballs here and there. All right, let's put Obama in there.
Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, uh, sort of uh, looks like him. Sort of not. Well, that looks like we're about done with that. Took a little longer because it was a little more complicated, but we got it done. All right, well, we'll, uh, we're gonna check out here. Uh, you wanna zoom in? We'll zoom in on the painting, I guess. Okay, we'll post this up on on Etsy and on Facebook. There's Obama just behind. He's got a suit and tie on. Do you see him? There he is. Okay. Uh, anyway, we'll post this on Etsy and on uh, Facebook uh, later on the day. Thanks again for being here, guys. Uh, we had fun and uh, we did some creativity. Hopefully you did too. Hopefully you guys sign the creativity pledge and we'll post that up for you somewhere. All right. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye everybody.